Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to be using the CloneZilla software to clone a hard disk image. We're going to be creating an image on an external hard drive from this laptop on our left, which is our source laptop, and we're going to be restoring that image on this other laptop on our right, which is going to be our destination laptop. For this video, we're using two Asus UX434 laptops. We're going to use a portable external USB hard drive and a USB flash drive. If you're not familiar with the CloneZilla software, you can head on over to clonezilla.org, where it tells you that CloneZilla is a partition and disk imaging cloning program similar to TrueImage or Norton Ghost. It helps you to do system deployment, bare metal backup, and recovery. Working in the IT field, this is a very common task where we may have to image and deploy many computers rapidly in order to equip our users. When you're ready to start, you just click on the download link, click on stable, and the default options are fine. So we'll hit download, and then we'll save that download onto our desktop. While that file is downloading, let's go ahead and insert our USB flash drive onto one of the USB ports on the right. We'll format that flash drive and make sure that it's ready. Then we can take all of the files in the CloneZilla zip archive, which we just downloaded, select those, and drag those over onto our flash drive. Once your file is finished copying, you can go ahead and shut this laptop down. What we need to do first is boot off of the USB flash drive that we just made in order to create our image on the external hard drive. So we'll go ahead and reboot the machine, pressing the escape key, which on the ASUS is what tells it to enter the setup menu. We'll select the flash drive. And then we're just going to go through some basic setup options here, where we need to select things like our screen resolution, our language, which is English, and we want to keep the default keyboard layout. Then we want to start CloneZilla. And it gives us a few different options here, whether we want to work with device to device, device to image. And as I said before, we're going to be working with disk images here. So the first option again. Then it gives us some options for where we want to store that image, whether that's on a local device, a Samba server, an NFS server. And again, we're just going to select local device. Then we need to plug that external hard drive into one of the USB ports on the laptop. And down here at the bottom, you can see it's trying to detect USB devices. So we'll just press enter. And once it adds the external hard drive, which in our case is this Western Digital My Passport, you can press Control C. And now it's asking us where we want to store the image that we're about to create. It uses Linux file names, so it might not be super intuitive if you're used to like Windows file names, you know, with your C drive. So in this case, we want to store the image on our external hard drive, which is our one terabyte external My Passport drive. And it asks us if we want to do a file check. Again, usually the default options are fine for all of this stuff. It's going to ask us where we want to put the image. And since there's no data currently on this external hard drive, we could just say done. If there were subdirectories or anything, we could put it in there instead. Next, it's going to ask us if we want to use beginner mode or expert mode. And again, we're going to just choose beginner. Then since there's no images currently on the disk, our options are to save the entire disk or save individual partitions. We want to save the entire disk because we're making an image. And what do we want to name the image? It defaults to just calling it with the today's date and we'll just go with that. So we'll tab down to OK. 
and it asks us what do we want to use as the source. For our source, that's going to be the laptop's internal hard drive. It says, again, we're making an image of this laptop. We're storing it on the external hard drive, which we're going to restore on our other laptop over there. So for the source is the internal hard drive. We'll just press OK. It tells you, asks what type of compression you want to use. Again, I just go with the default, tab down to OK. And then it asks if you want to do any additional repairs or checks on the file system. I'll just tab down to OK again. And then it asks if we want to check if the saved image is restorable. And then the default is yes, check the saved image. So we'll just tab down again to OK. And then it asks, do we want to encrypt the image? This isn't normally something that you need to do, but obviously depending on the data that you're copying, you may want to encrypt it. So we'll just tab down to OK again. The last option it gives you is what you want it to do when it's finished creating the image, which your options are reboot or shut down and our command line prompt. We'll just go with default again, which is to prompt the user what you want to do. We'll tab down to OK, hit OK, and then it asks us down at the bottom to hit Enter again. It tells you over here what it's going to do. It's getting these devices, and here's where it's storing the partition data. So it asks, do you want to continue? We'll say yes. This process can take anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to create the disk image, depending on the amount of data. So we'll go ahead and pause the video now and we'll pick it back up once it is done creating the image. Once the process of creating your disk image has completed, you'll see this screen where it shows which partitions were backed up and it also gives you a little information that it checked them and that the partitions are restorable. And then it'll give us this option. It'll tell you you're done, it'll give you the option to power off or restart. And we'll go ahead and just power this off. Once your source machine is powered off, we can go ahead and transfer our USB flash drive and our portable external hard drive over to our destination machine. As with our source machine, we'll start by plugging the USB flash drive into one of the available USB ports on the laptop and powering it on while tapping the escape key, which on these ASUS laptops is what you use to enter the boot menu. On other machines, it might be different. Dell uses F12, for example and we'll select the flash drive. Then we're going to go through the same setup process as we did with the source laptop. We're going to choose our screen resolution. Next we choose our language, which is English, our keyboard layout, which is default. We're going to start Clonezilla. We're going to be working with the device image and we're going to use a local device. At any time during this process, you can plug in your USB flash drive into any available port on the laptop. We'll press enter to detect the device. And once your device is showed up on the screen, in this case again, it's the Western Digital My Passport external drive. You can press control C to exit. Clonezilla will ask you where you want to restore the part image from, and we're going to choose the Western Digital Drive. It asks you if you want to do a file check on here. Again, the default options are usually fine. It asks you which image you want to restore, which in this case is the image that we created on our source laptop. Tab down to Done. Press Enter. select beginner mode and we are now going to select restore disk because we want to restore that image from the external drive onto the internal hard drive of the laptop. It asks us again which image file we want to restore. We'll tab down to OK. It asks you where you want to place that image. We're going to be overwriting the hard drive of the laptop. So it says choose the target disk to be overwritten. All data on the entire disk will be lost and replaced. Tab down to OK. It asks you if you want to run an additional check before restoring. Tab down to OK. 
And then it gives us that other menu where it asks what we want to do when the process is complete. And again, the default to choose reboot, shutdown, etc. is OK. Tab down, hit OK. It asks you to press Enter. And you can see it running a scan. Once it finishes checking the image, it will ask you again to confirm. We'll say yes. And then it asks us again a second time. And it gets us with a warning, warning, warning. We'll say yes. So CloneZilla will now restore the disk image, overwriting the data on the currently installed hard disk. As with the process of creating the image, this can take from several minutes to several hours depending upon the amount of data. We'll pause the camera and pick it back up again once this process is complete. Once the restore process is complete, you should see a screen similar to this one where it gives you some status output messages on the process and it will ask you to press enter to continue, which takes you back to this screen. We'll go ahead and power off the laptop. Once the laptop is powered off, we can remove our flash drive and our portable hard drive. And then go ahead and power the laptop back up. Once the laptop finishes powering up, you'll see we now have an identical image on our destination laptop as we did on our source laptop over here. This new machine is now ready to be provisioned for your user with specific accounts or software that they may need. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please like and subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I hope to do a lot more computer repair and setup videos in the future. I also do car repair videos, RV travel videos, and a variety of retro computing videos. Thank you, have a great day, and stay safe out there.